C-spot run, C-spot jump, C-spot choke on a bone and die in front of your face. Well, not today. We got a pet rescue. Okay, Denise. So tell us, Sunnyside Inc., that's your company. What do y'all do? We teach people to be better pet parents by making them more aware of things they can do to meet their pet's needs and by giving them life-saving skills of learning pet first aid and CPR. So we're going to be doing some dog CPR today. First of all, how does someone know that they need to give their dog CPR? Of course they're not going to tell you, but a human actually wouldn't even tell you if they needed CPR because when you need CPR, you kind aren't of, breathing yeah. and you don't have a pulse. Kind of the point. <laughs> so the first thing you always want to do is make sure that animal really needs your help, that he's not sleeping or deaf. So it's a good idea to kind of stomp your feet as you approach an animal laying on the ground. Then you're going to do your vital check. You're going to place your hand on the side of the chest to feel for a rise and fall. If he's not breathing, you want to pull back on the chin. That gives them a chance to open up the airway. But if that doesn't make the air flow, what you want to do is seal off the mouth and blow directly into the nostrils. Then you immediately check for a pulse. At any point when you don't notice a pulse, that's when you begin the compressions. So what's the most unusual animal you've given CPR to? Have you done sheep PR? Honestly, I haven't done it on a sheep. I've, I've tried to rescue sheep. It really makes a difference by knowing first aid and CPR because even if your vet's five minutes away, in five minutes a whole lot of brain cells can die and the animal could pass away. So you've done a lot already, but where do you see Sunny Doggy growing? Well, I'd actually like to start teaching other people to teach Pet First Aid and CPR so that we can reach a wider audience. But additionally, with my Pet First Aid kits, one thing I'd really like to see is a car company start adding Pet First Aid kits to their cars because pet safety is so important. And it would be great if pet parents had that at their disposal. So now that I know Doc CPR, somebody needs a Tic Tac. <laughs>